Hello guys, this discussion video will be about Prowler's Claw. Before we have discussed Prowler's Claw on champions like Ezreal, which if you don't know, I think Prowler's is very good on Ezreal, and this actually changed a lot of people's mind, and people started to play it, and it actually started to see quite a lot of play. Right now in this metagame I do think that there's two champions that are currently not utilizing Prowler's uh, basically at all, and they should be. One is Vars down in bot lane, the other one is Jace in mid lane. I do think that Prowlers has some angles in Jace top, but it is less good in top lane and less likely to be good, but it obviously has some spots. So why do I say that? Why is Prowlers better than Eclipse on Jace? Well, it's simply just stats. The only thing that you are buying when you buy Eclipse is this. That is why I'm saying that Eclipse is worse in mid generally, and better in top lane. For this to have value, you need to actively be trying to fight and proc it, and use it to kite and run away. When you are playing Jace in mid lane versus enemy Orianna, this is not really an interaction you're going to be doing, especially not in a pro game. Whereas when you're up in top lane versus enemy Sante, you're doing this on every single wave. Sometimes multiple times during a wave, which then is obviously really, really valuable. When you're playing a solo queue match and you have fought Perma for 30 minutes straight, this will give you a lot of fake info. But once again, if you look at high level gameplay, often enemy mid did not, uh, enemy Jace did not even proc this once. Uh, the first like 15 minutes uh, in mid lane. So, stat wise, this is 5 less ability haste than Prowler. It is also less lethality every single level. And this gap will be uh, bigger as the game progresses. This is a terrible mythic passive. Because you're essentially saying that I want to deal more damage than Prowler once I'm 4 items if enemy is actually buying a lot of armor. Which is something we're gonna get into. So once again the only thing you are buying is this. And that is literally all you have to think about when you think do I want Eclipse or do I want Prowlers. It's just is this proc going to be valuable. I'm going to show you two games of Jace that I think uh, should have been played with Prowlers. The first one is here with Viteo. This is a LEC match where XL wants to play purely off range and enemy team is giga outranged and they need to make things happen. So the more damage XL's poke deals, the less likely uh, Mad will be to succeed. In Jace's 1v1 versus Orianna, Eclipse has close to no value at all. So he should simply go Prowler's Claw. It doesn't matter if Ori gives, I believe, 30 armor at max rank E. This doesn't matter because it takes way too long for this to happen. And even at that point, people will not have like more than 110 to 120 armor, at which Prowler's is still uh, out damaging. Um, and the Ori Ball can only be placed on one person to give that amount of armor as well. Which Jace damages AoE. Another example I have was Gory's game in LCS. Which was versus, I believe, Vagar. I think it might be this one. Here again, he and his team wants to play purely off of range. And in his matchup, it's easier to proc Ele Eclipse in this one than versus Ori. But it is still not likely to happen, and I would be surprised if it happened often at all. I'm also going to show you that the Eclipse damage proc is not useful, and once again, the only useful thing about Eclipse is the shield and the movement speed. You are not going to deal more damage with Eclipse with its proc than with Prowlers. It will not happen. You are buying the shield and the movement speed, which doesn't have value here. Cho'Gath being a beefy tank doesn't really matter. Jace in mid should not be itemizing to deal with enemy top lane. And again, Jace's damage is AoE and he can easily loop around the Cho'Gath and QE off, uh, off of side angles. He does not have to directly interact with Cho'Gath the entire game. But yes, to answer your question, once this Cho'Gath has like Tabis and two items, yes, Eclipse will be slightly better. But Prowlers is a lot better versus everyone else. So those are two examples. So that is why Prowlers is better than Eclipse. Because Eclipse, you are paying for the movement speed and this. For Varus, you can see my ADC Berserker is going Prowlers because he's fucking goated. 
but then everybody else is just going fucking Dustblade for some reason, or they are going fucking, yeah, some random items like Eclipse, which is just terrible in most cases. Now there's uh, this guy that's a bit goated, who is actually, I noticed, uh, going Prowlers 2. Um, so that's kind of cool. So people are picking up, probably because Berserker played it, I don't know. Haven't studied Vars enough recently to know, but as you can see, most people do not care whatsoever. They're just buying Eclipse. So, that's all that really needs to be said. All that's left to do now is to show you. This is not why you're buying Prowlers. This is what people often misunderstand, because when I brought up Prowlers on Estriel, people are like, are you crazy? Are you going to E forward and Prowler the guy? You don't need to use the active for this item to deal damage. The active is just like a bonus. Think about it like a defensive ability. You can often use this when you're getting dove onto to outplay or buy time or dodge an ability or something. Like It's kind of like a Maokai W in a way. So I'm going to open up a practice tool game and I'm going to lock in Jace. And I'm just going to go um, face rush because if I go first strike and stuff, we are going to have to wait for my cooldowns of first strike and stuff like that. That's why I'm also not going scorch and runes like that. I want the testing to be as easy as possible. One thing to do consider though is that since Prowlers deals more damage than Eclipse, it's gonna look less in Prowlers favor now than if I was to go first strike. If I'm going first strike, Prowler's damage difference will be like even more massive. So first test we're gonna do is simply me just being first item. So I'm just gonna go like this, I'm gonna get my Prowler, go to the item, I'm gonna have my tear, obviously it doesn't matter but it's just there for cosmetic purposes. And as you can see, I currently have 61 armor without armor rune, so let's just give this guy 70 armor. Okay, that was 80. And give him some HP. And so this should be enemy mage, right? This is the earliest point uh, of my prowlers. Once again, the way that prowler scales is that it's strong right now, and then it gets really, really strong. And then it starts to slowly fall off if enemy is buying actual armor. So right now we won't see a massive difference, but there's still a difference. So this is just one uh, combo. Obviously if I now walk up and I do more autos and then RQ, we're going to start seeing a bigger difference. So I was 324. Plus keep in mind I get more ability haste. And this is 314. So that alone is 10 damage difference without accounting for runes, like first strike is gonna again boost that damage more, and it's without accounting for the fact that I have more ability haste as well, right? So now Eclipse's proc, ideally Jace wants to proc it in melee, looks like this. That's a pretty good shield. Like I said, shield and movement speed is great, and if that's needed, by all means go it. But if you look at just the proc itself, the damage, this was 229, but I got with the, yeah, I need, one second. See, 229. So that is going to be the only difference in terms of damage. That's the only time Eclipse can ever out damage Brawler, is when you do just the Eclipse proc itself. This will never happen, because now once again if I keep autoing and I start throwing in QE and then actually using my Brawler, because I'm in fucking auto range there, so I'm in Brawler range, then Brawler will just simply out damage it once again. So Eclipse is not a damage item. And now for those that want to say, oh, but when enemy gets armor and 
you get into like mid game, late game. Look, I'm giving this guy now 120 armor, which once again, these guys will never have. But hey, people want to doubt, people want to be correct. So, yeah, let's do it. So, right now, let's say I do this because I'm playing versus squishies. Could also go items like Sojin, doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna give myself some more levels and my tier is gonna be stacked. And so this, this is now a late game Jace. Now I have 10 extra lethality from this. And this guy's 120 armor. So surely Eclipse should be good, right? 497. As you can see, this guy has 120 armor, which will never happen in any of the cases that I am showing in my examples, and my Prowlers is still winning. So now let's go again versus actual Squishies. Let's say, because if you look at my armor, right? So let's give this guy a 90. I have 122 on my R, which gives me armor. 82 without. So it's completely reasonable to say it. this guy has 90 armor. 570 with Eclipse. And so with Prowler. As you can see. And consider as well AoE damage and in an actual all in. And Prowlers can be used for many things, like you can buffer it with Flash to create escapes or insects. Like you can just insect somebody. Well, there I included my queue, my bad. Sorry, it's 7 a.m. and I'm about to go to sleep. There you go. Another thing you can do with Prowler as well is that you can completely hide and cancel your hammer queue animation. The way you do this is you simply Prowler and then queue. As you can see there, you didn't see my queue animation. That's how my queue looks like. And then here is with the Prowler animation cancel. This can let you get damage off a bit faster. Now, there's two ways to do it. You can do it quickly like this. Oh, my bad. But then you don't get the Prowler's damage or you can try to delay it, which makes it harder, but then you can get the Prowler damage off. There we go. So take some practice um, and once again, the reason why I go Prowlers on a lot of champs is not because of the active. This is just like some bonuses that does help out sometimes. Especially the Wing as if it's like Maokai W. I've had many times where Rakan is like trying to W me and then I do stuff like this to outplay. And especially as Jace, you get behind them, you can E. This is very nice to try to do. But as you can see in these tests, purely damage wise, Prowlers is just winning by far, it's a great item and it should be built more on Varus, Ezreal and Jace. Thank you for watching.